So it's very interesting to me to see how these two teams are going to collide. Consulate's going to be the matchup, or the map rather, where these teams match up. BDS also ban Echo, and then Clash is taken out by Empire 2. Scyther down to 50% HP, and Rest Shiro is waiting to push in from behind, and we have a double kill, and BDS are running on low information here with no drones. Rest Shiro will find one before being felled by Joystick, but the work's already done. You can't really deal with this plant being set down, and pressure from Ironics from above should be more than enough to trap the defenders. You don't know what to do against this Onslaught, and the whole of the top floor are using all that soft breach. Four plays left of BDS to get Shiko, but doesn't even matter at this point. It's possible to actually get it. However, BDS is already in very good post line positions. And that'll be a first round for the Frenchman. Really Stuns in the back might be forcing the defender out of position. Oh, the long angle joystick down from below and Cafeteria will find one kill and Karjaka collects another on Ironics. BDS now falling apart as Rafale trying to pressure in from below. Renshiro will get one more. He's very wary of somebody playing below. There's nobody with a C4 or any potential. Karseka rotates, traded off by Shepard, positioned at the top of Yellow Stairs. A spot on the default cam as Rafale will now take out both of them. He's going to have to work against both a Yellow Stairs peak and a bathroom take. That's Joystick prone on the ground with Shepard swinging out. One from Rafale. Is he going to go? Oh! Yes, he is. Two big kills for him and BDS take around. They had no business winning. And rattles off and does nothing at the 30 second market. Shiko to collect one more into yellow. He doesn't know how he's not hitting them there in the back, but he doesn't need to actually fight. He just needs to survive. Allow that diffuser to be planted, and you have two long angles for you to watch. Shiko still fights again and finds Shepard inside there with a nitro cell. He fires it off at the default. Nobody to answer there. He's on one HP. You breathe on him, and he's barely going to be alive. And there's the shot. The hole's used correctly. He'll probably the stairs in that case. And BDS will collect yet another round. Karajik is going to fall off and no, is actually going to go up the stairs right into the welcoming arms of Alems. Nothing's really working right now for Empire at all, as they've just keep, they keep conceding that opening pick. They keep conceding map control. They're conceding the clock now. Two members of Empire try to outduel Ren Shiro and just nobody able to do it. The greater issue for Empire is just that they can't hit these shots and they are proving to be very scared. I wonder how much of this is mental. Dan has now been picked up as Shiko springs in over the railing and he'll continue to march over towards the staff area as a rotate comes out and he gets finished off. A flawless round from BDS and so far a flawless map for them too. 4-0 for BDS as Shiko had seen some gun tracers come from the top of Spiral Stairs. First kill is technically credited to BDS. They get another opening pick, but it's largely inconsequential as Joystick immediately refrags it and Empire now take the lead in the kill feed leaving just Shiko as well as Ironics up. And the default cams being a bit of a problem now, Shiko will have to watch as Ironics goes for the cover. Lots of gunfire coming in, and there's Shiko with the Type 89. So smooth as he's able to get the diffuser down from Ironics earlier on. SMG and Levin in hand, but the SMG is better for Karzeka. It's gonna be Karzeka versus Shiko now. 15 seconds, 14 seconds. The timer just continuing to bleed. Karzeka points up. This is do or die for Empire. They know they're running out of time, but it doesn't matter. There's still a drone in sight. Still the marks for BDS. Pushing through the hallway where you're like, no person, no sane human being would do that. Joystick's gonna get one kill, and there's a Lems already waiting for Joystick on the refrag. Two players are already down here for Empire, but specifically since Karzeka on the smoke is still alive. Look at the amount of damage done and traded Shepard. Using the secondary with only Wrench Hero and Shaiko alive, and I say only, but these are the two that I've won it before, and they can definitely do it again. Combination given time and space, they're co gonna collect one kill. That's Renshiro for one, and Shepard has gone down. You're turning around the corner, you find the smoke. I can't believe this. This is my. This is actually happening right now. Scyther is last alive. He's the doc. He can overheal, go for the gunfights, but it's tough. He has the info. He gets Renshiro the second. Lines up for him. They didn't know he was in the bathroom. And Empire finally. They stem the bleeding, but for how long? Inside of the waving room, hand connector, and we'll fall back to support his teammate. He finds the head of Scyther and the 2K for him to slow Empire even further. On BDS, really leading the way. There goes Shepard as he is totally rudderless on main stairs. Leaving Karzeka now in a position to essentially die with 30 seconds left. This should be a very easy lockout for BDS, providing they just patrol the stairs. Karzeka's got the pistol out to try and give himself as much speed as possible, but the diffuser is miles away. I think his opportunity is going to come in terms of getting frags, and he's not even going to get one of them. Ren Shiro just absolutely levels him off. Down he goes. 
No way to get onto that second floor for Karzeka. It's match point now for BDS and what has been a very fast match. They burned off the, the ADS there. Karzeka's gonna find Shaqua, at least something. But if a three layer defense and every angle, Alems will find one kill. This is the play though. Push in and go for the gunfight. Alems gets another as Karzeka is gonna be able to, at least trying to equalize there. Renshiro keeps on firing. And there's the Alda, ACOG or no ACOG. It's gonna do work. Renshiro collect the last two. And BDS victorious, 7-1. Man, um, again, Parker, sorry to cut you off at times, but not having the communication isn't fun physically, but here it is. There's no f communication either between the players of Empire, it seems. They tried so hard, it didn't really get very far at all. So, congratulations okay. on your victory today. Oh my god, man, Empire did not look like they even existed on that game. How is it between all of you? Because it looks like BDS, especially on their attack, are just always ready to keep pushing their momentum through. And even a team like Empire could not slow down and deal with you. Yeah, um, so we played Consulate. We are very confident on that map. And um, we had to choose the side of the map because they choose the map. So yeah, we started attack and uh, we are confident in whole attack. So. It went smooth. Well, when you went, this is something that Intera was talking about. You went on your defensive side. You were already up, and it was you know five zero. Oops, was it five one? Whatever it was. You you went for lobby defense first. Is this something to throw Empire off? Because as Intera mentioned, they're a team that is usually very strong on that console chamber push on consulate. Was that? Predicted was that played on purpose? Um, so yeah, we choose uh, lobby defense first because um, we we had to choose between basement and lobby because um, if we were defending CEO, they will have attack CEO like see on the CEO side, and the CEO attack is really hard to defend even if you have Wama and stuff. So mm -hmm. we're like, okay, let's start lobby, and uh, after we'll go basement. So we'll try to put those those uh, bomb side first.